Hi guys, I have a different kind of book today. It's by a local author and it was recommended to me by a parent. And this author is called Emily Palmer and it's all called Scrambled Heads. And it's all about a children's guide to mental health because I know this is a really, really difficult time. And it's just, just a nice way of telling you about what's going in, on in your scrambled head. So I'm going to read to you the book. So life can be a lot of fun. There are so many great things to do. But sometimes we might have problems with our mental health. And this is where our brain is a little bit poorly. When we are poorly, we feel and act differently. And this can affect how happy we are. It can affect our thoughts and feelings and our mood and our relationship with others. Being poorly can be very scary when you don't feel like you have control over the things you think and feel. When someone we love is poorly, we feel sad and we may be angry at the illness. It can be difficult to know what to say or to do to help. We want to help our loved ones feel better again. And there are many ways we can make things a little bit easier, but it is useful to talk about what could help. When we are worried about how we are feeling, there are lots of people we can talk to. They can help us get more support as and when we need it. There are lots of people who are trained to help us when we are poorly. We may get help from a special doctor who knows lots about mental health. And the special doctors can help us to open up and understand our thoughts and feelings. We may visit them once or twice or lots of times. They might look after us in a special hospital if we need extra help. And in the hospital, there are other people like us who are getting better too. Even when we are ill, we look just like everyone else. So people not see, might not see how unwell it makes us feel. This is, does not make our illness any less real, but it can be harder for others to understand. Whether we are healthy or poorly, it is important for us to love ourselves and each other. Together, we are stronger. So there's some questions as well you can have a think about when you, if you have this book. And this is just something that's been written about the author, so I'm just going to read it out to you. Emily Palmer's own struggles as a child and young adult with her mental health inspired her to write a book to encourage awareness among children and families. Scrambled Heads is her first children's book and is described as utterly brilliant by one mother and one step closer to breaking the stigma of mental health by another. Emily hopes her book can fill a gap in the education of mental health and start a dialogue on an issue that affects us all. So it can be quite tricky to understand mental health, whether it's your friends, your family or yourselves who are unwell. And this book really helps to show us it's just about knowing where to look and who to talk to. So it's a really lovely book um, and I'll put a link to where I've got this or the author because it's quite good to understand. So I just wanted to read something a little bit different. And so this was Scrambled Heads by Emily Palmer. I hope you enjoyed.